hottest planet ever found, scientists unveil Kelt 9b which reaches 4,327 c. Its surface reaches a hellish 4,327 c, smashing the previous record by more than 1,100 c. The huge gas giant is 650 light years away and so close, to its host star its orbit takes just, a day and a half. Named Kelt 9b, it lies in the constellation, of Cygnus and is hotter than most stars. The landmark crosses the latest frontier in space, exploration and may help astronomers search for extraterrestrial life. Despite the planet being completely uninhabitable, its scorching skies shed fresh light, on the atmospheres of alien worlds. While missions such as NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, are designed to find habitable places in other solar systems, there is a good reason to also study ones unlivable in the extreme. Professor Scott Gowdy of the Ohio State University, said, the astronomical community is clearly focused on finding Earth-like planets around small, cooler stars like our Sun. They are easy targets and there is a lot, that can be learned about potentially habitable, planets orbiting very low-mass stars in general. On the other hand, because Kelt 9b's host star is bigger and hotter than the Sun, it complements those efforts and provides a kind of touchstone for understanding how planetary systems form around hot, massive stars. The exoplanet is a hot Jupiter, a gas giant that orbits its star closer than Mercury does the Sun. It sports a glowing, comet-style tail as it literally evaporates under, the ultraviolet radiation from Kelt 9, the host star which at 9,897c, is almost twice as hot as our Sun, 5,600c. Professor Kivan Stassum, of Vanderbilt University in Nashville, said, as we seek to develop a complete picture, of the variety of other worlds out there, it's important to know not only how planets, form and evolve but also, when and under what conditions they are destroyed. Kelt 9b is almost three times bigger than Jupiter, yet only half as dense, because Kelt 9 has caused its atmosphere to puff up like a balloon. It is locked to the star, by enormous gravitational tidal forces, as the moon is to Earth dash, but the day side is perpetually blasted by extreme radiation. As a result molecules such as water, carbon dioxide and methane cannot form. Professor Gaudi said, it is a planet by any of the typical definitions based on mass but its atmosphere is almost certainly unlike any other planet, we have ever seen just because of, the temperature of its day side. The study published in Nature and presented, at an American Astronomical Society meeting in Austin, Texas, found Kelp 9 is roughly two and a half times bigger, than our Sun. It's stripping away the outer atmosphere of Kelt 9b. Explain Professor Stassen, Kelt 9 radiates so much ultraviolet radiation, it may completely evaporate the planet. Or, if gas giant planets like Kelt 9b possess solid rocky cores as some theories suggest, the planet may be boiled down to a barren rock, like Mercury. But if the star begins to expand, it will engulf the closely orbiting planet. Professor Stassen said, Kelt 9 will swell to become a red giant star in about a billion years. The long-term prospects for life, or real estate for that matter, on Kelt 9b are not looking good. 
The planet was identified three years ago, using the kilodegree extremely little telescope, KELT, at Weiner Observatory, in Arizona but its temperature has only now been calculated. As it eclipsed its star, the intensity of starlight dropped by about 0.5%, enough to indicate a planet had passed infrared. The brightness dipped once every 36 hours showing this is all it takes to complete a circuit. Dr. Karen Collins, also of Vanderbilt University, said, we were pretty lucky to catch the planet while its orbit transits the face of the star. Because of its extremely short period, near polar orbit and the fact its host star is oblate, rather than spherical, we calculate orbital precession will carry the planet out of view in about 150 years, and it won't reappear for roughly three and a half millennia. The telescope is one of two such, instruments specially designed to detect planets, orbiting bright stars and cost less than 58,000 pounds, compared to the millions spent on the biggest ones. Where other telescopes are designed to look at, very faint stars in small sections of the sky at very high resolution kelps, look at millions of very bright stars at once, over broad sections of sky, at relatively low resolution. Professor James Neff, Astronomical Sciences Program Director at the U.S. National Science Foundation, which partially funded the research, added, this result demonstrates even extremely little, telescopes can play an important role in discovery. The team hopes to take a closer look at KELP 9b with, the Spitzer and Hubble telescopes, and eventually the much-anticipated James Webb after, its launch next year, to estimate how much longer, the hellish planet will survive. Previously the hottest known planet was WASP-33b, 380 light-years, away in the constellation of Andromeda which reaches 3,200 c.